Merry Christmas, everyone! Welcome to Hyla Cooking, the show where we show you how to make food that you can eat at home, or in this case, drinks that you can drink at home. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my grandma's recipe for eggnog, which is basically just sugar and eggs and liquor. So if you have a weak stomach, don't try this at home. Otherwise, let's get to whisking! Okay, so it's, we got some sugar and some eggs and some bourbon or brandy. Grandma says use the very cheapest bourbon or brandy you can find because it doesn't matter for eggnog. Thanks for the tip. And then I've got some nutmeg too, which is kind of a key flavoring thing. So the first thing to do is separate the eggs because we're going to beat the whites and the yolks separately. That's what makes it fancy. So I'm going to show you how to just do it with your hands or with the shells. So we want the whites separate from the yolks. And if you get any yolk in your egg whites, you kind of have to start over because it won't beat up fluffy. And also make sure that your bowl is completely clean and free of any residual soap or oil. Okay, and then yolk goes in there. And the original recipe is calls for 12 eggs and 12 shots of booze and 12 tablespoons of sugar, but I'm cutting that down because we don't really need to drink 12 eggs, do we? I don't. Yolks. Okay. Get in there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add my sugar. I'm going to kind of get it dissolved in there until it stops looking greeny which it seems that we're almost there. Okay, that seems pretty well dissolved. I'm gonna add the booze. And if you're wary about like raw eggs and stuff, um, don't be, because the booze will kill any germs in there. And also, if it's good enough for Rocky, I think it's good enough for us on Christmas, don't you? Oh, crap. <laughs> it almost dumped over, okay. Sorry about that, guys, very unprofessional. Okay. All right. Probably not the wisest bowl to use. Okay. Woo! Okay. So now I'm gonna not dump the bowl over. I'm gonna beat these until they are stiff peaks. And if you don't have a mixer, you're kind of SOL, I think. So you kind of need some kind of mixer. On high. I'm gonna check and see how stiff these peaks are. See if they're stiff enough. Haha, <laughs> stiff. Okay, yeah. So you want it like it doesn't, when you pick up a little bit or you pick up your mixer, like it stays in place. It doesn't like slump over. So okay, yes, this is stiff peaks. Perfect. Let's see. Fancy glass. Okay, so the thing about when you fold stuff in is you don't want to destroy all the air bubbles you just made, so you just want to add in like maybe half of this or a quarter of it, the first little bit, and get it incorporated. And just like do some sweeping motions and just like really gently kind of get that in there. And don't keep going until it's all incorporated because that's mistake number one. You want to leave some bubbles like that because you're going to mix it some more. And then maybe like another bit. And this is the same technique you would use if you had to fold in some, some cake batter or something into beaten egg whites. You don't do the full mix until the very last bit is added. looks good. Now I'm going to pour it into a glass and do a little nutmeg on top. All right, I say pour, but that's probably not the right word to use here because it's very stiff again. And 
Grandma also told me to tell you that this is really strong, and if you can't handle it, then you can add some whipped cream on top, <laughs> which is a crazy idea. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of nutmeg. And you can use pre-ground, but fresh nutmeg has a more festive look. Because then you get to do this. Beautiful. All right, now I'll taste it. It's almost like you could eat it with a spoon. It's really good. <laughs> it's like boozy nutmeg cream. Do I have something on my face? Okay, well, there's Grandma Hornsby's homemade eggnog recipe for you to try with your loved ones. And um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.